Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the next episode of the Ultimate WWE Women's Championship Tournament. I, as always, am Vinnie Vincent, and I am joined by my lovely daughter. Tonight, we have a battle between the 21st ranked Jacqueline against the 11th ranked Melina. Jacqueline held the title on two different occasions for a total of 117 days, while Melina held the title on three occasions for 279 days. Jacqueline won her first title <clears throat> on September 15, 1998, winning the vacant title, defeating Sable in a tournament final, holding the belt for 61 days before losing it to Sable. She would get her second title on February 1st, 2000, an episode of SmackDown. Jacqueline will lose that title to Stephanie McMahon Helmsley. Molina would win her first title on February 19, 2007 in Bakersfield, California from Mickey James on an episode of Raw, holding the title for 64 days before losing to Mickey James. She would get it back just the same day she lost it to Mickey James in a live event in Paris, France, holding it for 61 days before losing to Candice Michelle. She would get her third title on January 25th, 2009 at the Royal Rumble, defeating Beth Phoenix, and then would lose the title 200, or 154 days later to Michelle McCool on June 28th, 2009, the day before my son was born. So, Lorelai, what do you think? Jacqueline, the girl in the purple, or Melina in the gold? Gold. Oh, her entrance music should stop. I apologize. Brand new thing using Spotify for entrance musics that aren't on the game. We did find out, though, that we can't broadcast live. So the girls tie up. Jacqueline with a forearm to Melina. Jacqueline. Ooh, a Hurricane Rana. Melina with a leg sweep. Is that even English? <laughs> Melina takes Jacqueline down. Now hitting for her from behind Jacqueline, one half of Pretty Mean Sisters, or PMS. <clears throat> Melina Perez, one, one former manager of Eminem. Slams, drops Jacqueline face first on the turnbuckle. Oh, a spear takedown, but Jacqueline moves out of the way. I, I, that looked odd. Dragging Melina into the center of the ring and goes for the cover. One, and a kick out. Melina's able to kick out after one. Nice kick by Melina. And Slams her shoulder first in the ring. first slam. Rebirth. Arm drag takedown. Mm. Melina draping Jacqueline across the top rope and then whips and her back whoa. in. And she's down on the ground. Jacqueline fighting her well, way back up. On the on the ring. Throwing Melina over the top rope out of the ring and Jacqueline follows her out. Dropping Melina face first on the steel steps. The referee's up to three. Again, losers do not advance. If there's a double count out, neither girl will advance. Melina, however, gets back in the ring. Jacqueline follows her in. Red. 
Jacqueline with a with a trying to yank Melina's head off her shoulders. Goes for the cover. And Melina is able to kick out. Slams her head first into the mat. Ooh, that's a Wilson. Ooh, when the Flapjack. And uh, Melina clotheslines Jacqueline over the top rope and out of the ring. On a back way down, everyone stand it up. <laughs> <laughs> Jacqueline, Melina waits for Jacqueline to get back in the ring and then slaps her in the face. Or punches her, I should say. Exploder suplex. Slam dunk. <laughs> Slam dunk. Well, I got the friend. <laughs> yeah, hey, whatever. Back to back to yanking Molina's head off her shoulders. Jacqueline, the Hall of Famer. And going for a German suplex in the bridge, but Molina's able to kick out. That was looked like a version of the uh, the skull crushing. Your dual shock is disconnected. Your controller, you did something to it. Going for a submission hold. The controller is off. No. Oh, no, I don't want to restart match. Mm -hmm. All right, sorry about that. Lorelai the first somehow disconnected her controller. Molina with a uh, fireman's carry and dropping Jacqueline oh, throat Jacqueline first over the ropes. Shoving Melina back in the corner, and Jacqueline coming around with a with a uh, DDT, float around DDT, and goes for the cover. But Melina kicks out. At two. This match has been back and forth. You may notice in this week's episode we don't have the online features, the clock counter, and the uh, comments available. Because using Spotify, we cannot broadcast with Spotify on at the same time. So I'll have to upload it the old-fashioned way. Melina posing, celebrating her uh, her <clears throat> move. Clothesline, another clothesline. Ooh, and a drop. She takes Jacqueline down with a, with a, a clothesline, leg line. And now she's going, oh, Jacqueline kicks her off. Ooh, that must have hurt. They got a rat. German suplex from Jacqueline into a cover, but Melina kicks out. Stay tuned next on this channel for Andrew the Tenth's WWE Men's Tournament as the Undertaker battles Iron the Iron Sheik. Jacqueline stomping on Melina's arm. And, and goes for the cover again. But Melina kicks out. Kicks out after you and never will lose. Jacqueline plants with a DDT. Melina face first into the mat and goes for another cover. One, two, and another upset in the women's tournament as Jacqueline upsets Melina and will move on to the next round where I believe she will take on Wendy Richter. But I can't be sure it might be Rockin' Robin. I'll have to look. Actually, one of them girls might have lost. I'm not sure. I've got it written down on my other computer. Should have it on this one, I know. Legging. But like I said, next week on this channel, the Lorelei the First Ultimate Tournament will feature a battle of... Michelle McCool versus Layla. A battle of Lay Cool. Going at it. And going off to the second rope to both. We will see you next time. So.
Yes, Lorelai, thanks for joining us as Jacqueline wins. Until then, I'm Vinnie Vincent. And I'm Lorelai the Fish. We'll see you later.